Well, my friends, I think we've explored this place as thoroughly as we can. There is still the matter of Senmet. We're not going to be able to defeat Senmet with what we have. We either need to sever its connection to this world, or find something that destroys it utterly. And I'm loath to do the latter. For all the evil that it has done, destroying a soul is... is reprehensible, yes. Let us not think of that. Let us instead take this water to somewhere where it's needed. And I think I have an idea of where it's needed. That's not the thing I'm looking... No, that's one of my scrolls. Thank you. We could take it to that area that's over to the northwest of Muha. That tree symbol could very well be a garden. Gardens need water. I imagine it has all the water it needs. You can imagine that, but there's no guarantee it actually does. She's gone. Good riddance, I say. Hey folks, it's Gikoskia here, and welcome back to Let's Play Ravenloft Stone Prophet. When last we left off, we cannot rest, for there are monsters nearby. That's okay, we can rest here, probably. Yep, it's now day, and we have a location to go to. We need to get to that temple with this water. Okay, there's you and all of your stuff. There's a villager, so we are very close to Muha. Yep, there's Muha. We're gonna go straight through Muha and go to the northwest and hopefully find something interesting. Also, we're just gonna explore this area just in case there's, you know, items or things. Or, or birds. Hi, birds. Been a while since we fought some vultures. They are not going to prove to be a problem. Oh, no. They're not a problem. There we go. Taken care of. Now, let's keep going to the northwest. There's a small pile of items here. Oh, there's also one of you. This place is no friendlier than before. Oh no, it's not. But we can deal with it. Now, I'm surprised we haven't encountered some enemies here that we'd also encounter in Barovia, because with this being a Dread Realm, some things would probably be consistent between the places. Now, there's just some water and some robes, and another one of you. Hello! We have fireballs for you. And that just took you out immediately. Right, let's keep looking. Keep exploring. Alright, we're entering into unknown territory here. Keep your wits about you, everyone. Look for a giant building. That looks pretty giant to me. Is this what we're looking for? It might be. There's some attempts at greenery nearby. Attempt is the correct word, yes. And there are other things, too. We can deal with them, though. Right, an entranceway. Let us rest before we go in. That is a sensible idea. We'd have all our resources about us. Okay, into a new dungeon we go! This is basically what this game is, like the previous one. Dungeon to dungeon. Is this where I want to be? The Ruined Temple of Harvest. Yep, this is definitely where I want to be. Alright. Quiet so far. Doesn't mean to say it will stay quiet. Keep your wits about you. There's going to be something. There is something, alright. What that? Never heard that sound. We'll have to find out. Hope it friendly. I somehow doubt that. Oh, uh, sand methods. Oh wow, they're cool. So they're methods made of sand, and when they perish, they return to sand. And they're not that tough. Okay, they are not that tough. 
and there's you! Also, this is an open-air location. Yeah, they're not that tough at all. Uh, ooh, there's a scroll hidden under this. Uh, detect invisibility. You didn't know that! Now you do, and I get the feeling, oh wait, you have a helm of true seeing, that's not really going to be a problem. I'm glad for that, I'm really glad for that. Okay, what do we have here? We have a dagger and an ointment. I'm curious, is this dagger magical? I doubt it. Also, I like that this changes depending upon where you are. It's just a nice little touch. Yep, it's uh, not magical. You can throw it, but it's not magical. Okay. Nothing here. There's a special area. What does that mean? That's a little... ominous? What's a special area? This is when the special area just absolutely destroys us. It could! I like this music though. When it actually gets to play, it's kind of happy. I'm gonna save before I go into that. I'm really gonna save because uh, special area. Oh, it just poisons us. Oh, it just poisons. Okay, so I know what the special area does. Poison! Fortunately, we have neutralized poison to negate that. Ugh. There was a choking fog about that place. Yes, it was terrible, but I think we dealt with the worst of it. What was that thing that we found? It was a helmet. A magical helmet. I... the mask of some kind. I'm not sure what it does, but for it to be hidden there, it must be quite important. Yes, we'll hold on to it. Okay, more sand methods! I like at least that the game shows that that is an area you need to watch out for. Goes into special area, you're gonna get poisoned if you're there, some people were warning that there were places that would be dangerous for my uh, party, specifically the troll. And now I think I see what they mean, because you can't use a ointment. Or hold a periapt. Can't hold a periapt. That would protect you from the poison. I don't know what this switch has done. Probably done something important. So yeah, I think we might need the periapts when we go into those areas. Just hold a periapt, be immune to poison, and then we'll just be, uh... Anku's not. Okay, another switch. I don't know what this is doing. Probably opening the way forward or down or somewhere. Could also be getting rid of that special area's, uh... Toxicity, but I... Doubt it. Right, round we go. There is a door over here that we can just open whenever we like. Let's not open that right now. Let's keep exploring around. And undead! Well, back to familiarity. Indeed. This place has been desecrated. Indeed it has. We need to be careful. And deal with all of them. Getting rid of them will purify this place somewhat. There is a... What is that there? That is a weird symbol. I don't know what that is. That's an insect. Maybe someone appears there at some point. I don't know. Either way, we're going to keep looking around and hopefully not come across more horror. Oh, who are we kidding? We're going to come across more horrible undead. 
Any in here? No. Any in here? Aha! A special poisoned area. Not all poison, though. Right, there's... Undead here. We can deal with the poison for the moment. The poison's not that bad. We can just use neutralized poison at some point. Actually, we should use neutralized poison when we plan to go back through. Okay, because this is, I think, a... Nope, this area is actually, uh... Just linked to all of that. Oh, I have, uh, accidentally not rested. Well, good thing I have some ointments that I can use to, uh, deal with the poison. Because, uh, resting with the poison active is a very poor plan. And another ointment. This does, therefore, mean that I can, you know, put some, uh, stuff there. Let's rest. Yeah, we need some more peri apples. We keep our eyes peeled for a third one of those. Can we rest here? I hope so. Yes, we can! Okay, that, uh... Invalidates the need for more ointments. It's also dark. We're gonna rest again, so it's now day. Need to watch out for those areas. They appear to be clearly signposted with that, uh... Vine like thing. The undead are not so signposted, unfortunately. We didn't actually check all of the uh, items in that area. We should do that once we've dealt with the enemies. Okay, dealt with all them. There are items back here, apparently. They are. not significant. There is another ointment here. The game has been kind enough to give us another ointment. Game gives, is giving us a lot of ointments. It didn't give us so many ointments in uh, Barovia. Makes sense, to be fair. There weren't as many things that could poison you in Barovia. Okay, here we have rocks, 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 and loads of oils of fiery burning. Okay, are we expecting to face something that requires fiery burning? Don't know. What I do know is there is an area down here that we need to go and explore that is not in that. There you are! Hello! What are you guarding? You're guarding more ointment! More ointment. Any more enemies? Yes, there's one over to our right. Hello! Ah, and a table. That table's gonna have something good. It has the Temple of Harvest key. So we can teleport to the Temple of Harvest whenever we want to, if we decide to come back. I'm not sure we're going to want to come back, though. Okay, that's all of them. There is... ooh. There is a, uh, door there with something next to it. Let's see if we can figure out what that something is that we need. And a book! of Isu and Senmet. Well, it's time for some reading. In those days, honors and blessings alike came to Isu Rekatep, devout priestess of Osiris. The god of nature and rebirth smiled upon her, yet Isu's goodness wore away, crumbling through the years as the stone of mountains erodes before the efforts of wind and time. Upon finding a magical scroll, she took control of the greater mummy, Senmet. By doing so, Isu fell from the faith of Osiris. She turned instead to the evil of Set, the god of jealousy and secrets. A cunning and deceitful woman, Isu enjoys working in treachery, and, it is whispered, slowly works to convert the villagers of Muha to the worship of Set. Well, we'll have to deal with that at some point. I feel like there's an encounter, an inevitable confrontation we're going to be having with her. Let's hope at least we're ready for it when it happens. Okay, we need a key. Do we need a key? No. Oh, okay, okay. That's bad. That was a shadow. Good reflexes there. Thank you. 
Thank you. What was in here that was worth all that? Robes? Ah, useless. This, however, is a staff. And a, and a potent one, perhaps. I need to see what this staff can do. But first, scroll of cure critical wounds could be useful. Scroll of oh, scroll of raised dead always useful. Water skin no. A feline figurine that is absolutely going to be essential for something. The question is what. Also, it's time for detect magic. Let's find out how powerful this staff is. It doesn't deal any more damage, but we'll certainly hold on to it. Just in case. You know what, actually, we'll hold on to that, and... Who has the Perry apt? Not you. Not you, because I bet... If I... Sorry about the uh, squeaky noises. If I gave you a Perry apt against poison... There's a rock! You would not... You would not have to worry about poison. You at least would be immune. Which would save us a usage of neutralized poison. Is that a button? No, it's a window. And over here we have... Nothing! Okay. So we have one little area here. Which is not so little. And another ointment, which is nice. And then this door. Alright, are we ready? As ready as I'll ever be. Let's open it. And need for another key. I don't know if we found a key. Do, do we find a key? Nope! Well, you know what we have to do then? We open it that way. It's very useful. It's very useful indeed. Okay, we may have missed the key, but we don't need the key. We have that, which opens up this area. Hmm. I don't see any danger here at all. No, me neither. This troubles me. Life. And you. And the child. The child that ran away from Muha. We'll have to remember to come back here at some point. If that is, there is any other place we can go. There might not be somewhere else we can go. Unless. I have an idea. What is that idea? That inlet that we found. It seems important. What of it? What if we put the statue there? The little feline figurine? Why would we need to? I don't know, but it's worth a try. And that did nothing. Yep, we can do nothing with that. All right, we do have this figurine, though. Don't, don't know what to... That's an NPC. That's an NPC! I did not notice the cat. Well, let's talk to the cat. If only we were as small as you, little feline, we might pass this door you wait outside. That crack in the wall is just your size. This cat appears to have been here for quite some time. What holds it to this place, I know not. But if we might speak with this pet, so steadfast a watcher might know the way within. Without a key or more knowledge than we possess at the moment, we shall not pass this door. Except the fact that we have... 
already passed this door. Yeah, we've already passed this door. But we will certainly talk to you next time. We will absolutely talk to you next time. For I do believe we have a spell that we can cast that will allow us to speak with the animals. Yep, there it is. And so when we come back, folks, we will speak with animals. And hopefully learn something important. I have a feeling that uh, this area is actually quite small and we pretty much explored everything. I'm also not looking forward to the fact that we may end up uh, having Piotra leave the party briefly as we escort the girl back to the village. Not great, but I'm sure we can just then recover all his equipment later. Let's hope that's the case. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later.